Alright, so today we are going to be spectating a Bronze 5 Widowmaker and for me it's the first time seeing a Bronze 5 Widowmaker and of course we're not just going to trash the Widowmaker, we're going to go over his decision making, ability usage, his aim and I will say what I would have done in his position. So starting off here, they're playing on Oasis, they have a pretty decent comp with Risa, Moira. Enemy team's comp is way better though, they have a Saria, Reaper, Ash, Moira and... Kiriko, so they have a pretty meta comp. But well, let's see how they do. They don't even have a gold or wooden gun. I'm very disappointed. And he uses his gravel look here in the stars. Now he's not gonna have an escape ability for several seconds. And he just misses the Moira there. Very unfortunate. Let's see. He's gonna take challenge, yes. It's a body shot, actually. Oh, he grapples behind her. And it's insane shot. What? Right here, he body shoots Moira. Moira throws an orb out. For some reason, Mora jumps to him instead of taking the health back one meter behind her. And he decides to grapple behind him, Mora instead of grappling back to his teammates. And somehow gets a nice headshot. Okay, so let's see. I would want him to go left side. And yeah, don't grapple directly on the point. Will die instantly by that uh, Sora there. Okay, so now it's time to run back to your teammates. Do not grapple into the room. That is not the best decision, you're gonna die 100%. I understand, he probably wanted to go for like a cheeky pick there, because he think he was gonna die, but um, I would not have grappled into a close quarter room when I'm getting chased by five people, so I don't know about that. And again, he's using his grapple in spawn like that, very weird, like going one meter forward. Let's see, is he the Mora? Mora is uh, I'm jumping away, yeah, she actually took the health back this time. It hits with the body shot, nice, not bad. What is this random, like, what was he doing? I like, wanted this random grapple looks like that, I don't get it. Okay, the sword gets trapped there. Yeah. Very unfortunate, she somehow, why would she grab that? And why is she still alive? Oh my god, what is going on? Okay, he's gonna grapple directly onto point, the hunter and sword right next to him. Let's get one pick, not too bad. We get a second, two picks, alright. Three headshots, what? This guy's smurfing, this gotta be a smurf. We get a fourth, no, okay. Junker Tai takes a kill, but uh, that was a very insane clip, I gotta say, what? I don't know, I do know that there's a lot of good aimers in Overwatch who is low rank. But they will destroy you in a Widowmaker 1 vs 1. Let's go for the grapple kill here on the Moira. Yeah, that's an easy kill, a nice shot. He did do a tiny mic flick there. That is the reason to why I'm thinking he either practices a lot of Widowmaker or is high rank. Look at this mic flick. It goes up and down. So, um, yeah, we'll have to keep watching, see how he's playing. Okay, misses the shot there, misses another shot. His aim style is still the same right now. Where he's tracking and flicking a bit, but he's missing as well. So maybe he's not smurfing. Maybe he was just uh, very lucky in his shots. And now he should be dead. We did not hear the Reaper coming up. He somehow jukes the Reaper. Grapples away, jumps down his team to get healed. Took a second death of to heal him. <laughs> uh, pretty good positioning here. He's gonna go back to high so Reaper doesn't one shot him. Reaper has no idea he's even standing there, and Ash should definitely be killing the Widowmaker here. Ash should definitely be killing the Widowmaker here. Yeah, she misses every single shot. Nice right, holding angle. Tries to do a little flick shot there. Jumps down onto the Saria, and then grapples back up. I mean, I guess that's one no way to confuse the enemy team. Okay, pops the ultimate here. He is very low in health, so I will be scared. Yeah, he's also very scared. Still taking the shots though, he's putting on pressure, and he dies. Okay, Mercy insta rest, that was the first rest I've seen. And the Reaper has no idea. Oh, and he doesn't charge up his shots completely. Wait, I gotta see this Reaper perspective. She hears the rest, She's, you see the kill feed. You even see, like, like look. look. You even see the beam healing the Widowmaker, and he has no idea. Oh, that was like the slowest aim I've seen. <laughs> Alright, so we're back into it here. It's looking up to the sky for some reason. I don't know what he's doing. Let's not use your grab look very early yet. 
Okay, some attracts it more through the wall, it's very interesting. Uh, yeah, Ash gets away, I think. Yeah, the Junkrat has ignored it and the Ash is standing right behind her. Okay, nice, get some shots in here. It's a good position here. She'll be able to get some uh, free kills. The Reaper is standing completely still, trying to be a sniper. Um, the Reaper is not a long range hero, by the way, so you should try to get up in their face and not snipe from high ground. But uh, it's doing its job right now. I think they're both gonna go the way to make here. It grapples up into the roof, but it's fine. It gets a nice shot on the Reaper. And a uh, little bomb shot there. Almost gonna headshot. The Ash is spraying like crazy. What is he uh, looking for? I think he's. Okay, nice shot there. I'm trying to wrap my head around that this guy is bronze 5 right now. Because two shots. Like look, how is that bronze 5 aim? Like some of his decision making is definitely bronze, but the way he is aiming is definitely not bronze. Again, the profile did show that he's playing a lot of quick play, but barely any competitive, so... It might just be a quick play warrior, who knows. Uh, but yeah, this is the better map for Widowmaker. So there's two good positions here for Widowmaker. There's one right up here. You can see directly up to the high ground and you can see down onto the point. And the second one is just going through here and you have like the spawn kill after you get the point. Uh, let's go to Widowmaker here again. Alright, uses his grapple the first second for some reason. Um... I guess it's fine on this map because it's a very short distance, but uh... Okay, so it's holding high ground here, it's holding the angle. He has steps on Ash. Nice headshot there. That's a very easy shot, but... A nice shot on the soldier, what? In this case, aim is definitely a lot better than uh, a bronze aim should be. We can do like a comparison in the end versus like another bronze player, but... Okay. How does he... Okay. How does he hit this? And he hits this. But then all of a sudden, I saw it one health. Two. Three. He misses that. How? I don't get it. Alright, goes back to high ground using his grappling shot. This is very risky because he doesn't have an escape tool right now. I would definitely jump down to my team if I could. Oh, he's going into a corner doing uh, 180s. I don't know what he's doing. Yeah, so I would have gone back to my team there because yeah, his team is just looking straight up, trying to help the Widowmaker. But the Widowmaker is uh, yeah dancing in a corner here. Let's see how the aim on the soldier is. Maybe bronze is just way better than it used to be because I think gold players got bronze now. So I, I guess their aim could be really good. Yeah, this guy's aim isn't terrible either. Like, this guy's aim is pretty decent. Um, okay, we'll go back to Widowmaker. It's a body shot. Oh. Grapples onto the point. There's no one there but the enemy team. Why are you grappling someone to spray on them? And why is it working? Just punch him. Yes, nice. He's, uh, he's uh, utilizing his punches very well. On melee button. Okay, Mora running a straight line. Oh, nice. He ray forms out. My question is, what is Sara doing? As soon as the Widowmaker grapples onto the point like this, <laughs> she should go on the, uh, on the Widowmaker. She's... Why? She, she looked at both the Moira and the Widowmaker, but she goes back to the Orisa, which is almost immortal. If she... Would you spectate this uh, Sora instead? Because she's doing some very uh, questionable decisions. But whatever, okay. Let's continue here. On the objective. Be useful and get over here. Okay, what he's gonna do is gonna go back up to high ground. Again, I do like to right side more than standing in the high ground, but now he does have a pretty good angle. But as soon as someone goes up to high ground and challenges him, he should be dead. Like, that's the issue. Yeah, again, he has to... Why? Okay. 
Why would he jump down, use, use his grapple look for a second, and jump back up? Now you have no escape. And then you jump back down again. Okay. We need to talk about your ability usage or your grapple look usage. It's very important to save your grapple look and uh, not just used on cooldown. Yeah, luckily he's Orisa carried that fight. Okay, let's see what he's gonna do. He's gonna go back to high ground, he uses his ultimate. Yeah, he's going for the sneaky anger there, grapples back up to high ground again. That is a uh, very lucky Ash. His team is getting overrun. <laughs> More is teabagging the mercy. Alright, nice headshot. Sprays. I think they should be getting the point there because of that. Okay, and grapples up to high ground like that. Why? Stop grappling onto the enemies. Now you're dead. If you save your grapple, you would not have been dead. It's a very bad habit to grapple up or grapple onto the enemies or behind enemies. Just grappling at all like that. Alright, we continue. Let's see what he does. He uses grapple in the spawn again, of course. Nice, it's a good headshot there. Grapples up onto the high ground. This is fine, I guess. Shoots once and looks back at the uh, stairs there. Because uh, that's pretty big green moon. So, he grapples up to the high ground, shoots one onto point. Then it's like, oh, maybe someone's gonna run up because they've done that three times in a row now. So he holds the angle. It's pretty smart. Alright, so he hits the body shot. Two body shots, not too bad. Do some good tracking here, actually. Headshot. Gonna get the kill. Oh, he's carrying this fight right now. Yes, you can jump down and challenge the edge there. That is completely fine. Because um, you do have a mouse pocket. Yeah, I mean, that's fine, I guess. Again, left and spray, that's completely fine in these close range fights here. I think they should be uh, winning here. Sorry, one. The server touch, okay. Ah, oh, he's farming. Yeah. Okay, this is just a free win. Let's go for the graphic shot here to spawn kill. Anyone. The aim was surprisingly good at times. To the point where I thought he was smurfing, but his grapple hook and positioning is very, very questionable. What I think he is, I think he is a gold player or plat player who ranked down to bronze in Orge 2 because uh, after you did your placements, you always rank down one or two ranks, and a lot of plats and gold players get down to uh, bronze. So that's what I think happened. But if he's actually a bronze 5 player, which is the lowest rank in the game, then I have no idea what's wrong with this game, because his aim is actually really really good at times. But yeah, comment down below, do you guys think he is smurfing? Do you guys think he has just fallen down into the depths because of the new Overwatch 2 system? Or what rank do you guys think he deserves? Comment down below and I'll see you guys in the next one. Fighting.